In today's video, I am going to show you how to clean your stove top with two simple ingredients that you probably already have in your house. The first ingredient is just baking soda. This is what I keep my baking soda in. And the second ingredient, a lemon. While we get this ready, let me just point out that this is a very non-toxic method to clean the stove top. So much so that I don't even need to wear gloves while I'm doing so. And the reason why this works, lemon juice is acidic and that, and that really helps to cut through grease on a stove top. And when you combine lemon juice with baking soda, it does make a powerful degreaser that does a great job with your stove. But first, if you're new to Clean Freaking Germaphobe, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of all of our future videos. But for now, let's jump right in and clean this stove top. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just cut a lemon in half like this. And then you're gonna wanna get your paring knife, be very careful of course, and you just want to peel the edge, cut it off just like that. So now you can see that there is just a little lip here between the lemon and the peel. And then the next thing you're gonna want is just a small bowl filled with baking soda. And then what you're gonna do is you're just going to take your lemon, you're gonna dip it right into the baking soda. So it's gonna look something like this. And then this is gonna be your scouring brush. This is what you're gonna use to clean your stove top. And so you just put the lemon directly down on the stove top and go to town. While you're doing it, give your lemon a squeeze to help release some of the juices. You just work it all around your stove top and everywhere that is greasy, you get right in there and you clean it the best that you can. Now, the reason why this works is because the lemon juice is acidic and that acid breaks and cuts down the grease that is on your stove top. It actually is a pretty effective and all natural degreaser. And then of course we all know the cleaning power of baking soda, but when you combine the two, it definitely becomes a super cleaner and it works terrifically. Also, it smells so good. When you feel like you're running out of the baking soda, you just dip it again, grab some more, and then again, as you apply it, squeeze some more lemon juice. And as you do so, you can see that it starts to foam and bubble. That's the reaction between the lemon juice and the baking soda. So I'm gonna hit fast forward on this and let you guys watch the rest of this stove get scrubbed. And then I'm gonna show you how it looks when we're done. Now I want to point out, if you're starting to use up the lemon juice and the pulp, all you need to do is actually just cut a little bit further down the rind and that's going to expose more of that lemony surface to work with. So I'm going to do that here. And then of course, you can always cut into the other half of the lemon as well. If your stove looks like something like this, this method right here is not gonna cut it at all. And if that's the case, you're gonna wanna break out the big guns to clean big greasy messes. And we've done many, many videos on different methods to clean out very greasy stove tops. I'm gonna link to that playlist in a card above. So if your stove top really, really is greasy, I don't recommend this method. It's just for if you need to spruce up your stove top, it's looking a little shabby and you just don't wanna pull out the chemicals. You want your has to smell good and you just need to make it look pretty then this is a great method and the reason why we have so many different videos showing you how to clean the same kind of surfaces is because we are all about variety not every method is going to work perfectly for every person some people like to go more natural like with what we're doing here some people want to just get rid of the grease as efficiently and effectively as possible and they're fine using chemicals. So we have options for you so that you can decide, hey, I wanna use the chemicals or no, I wanna stick with all natural. Generally speaking, if you stick with more natural methods, you are gonna be scrubbing a little bit more. Strong chemicals really do cut into grease a lot better than things like lemon juice. But hey, you pick what works for you and what makes you happy in your home. And if you're anything like me, what method I choose kinda depends on how dirty the stove is, what kind of a mood I I'm in and how much time I have. So be sure to check that playlist. There are tons of good options. All right, this looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a microfiber cloth. I'm gonna wipe this off, clean up all the paste and the lemon juice and show you how it looks. So as you can see, this is cleaning up beautifully and it smells so good. This stove top was not that dirty to start with, but boy, it sure looks a lot better now. And also be sure to comment if you try it and how it works for you or what your favorite method is for cleaning your 
first stove top. Also, make sure to hit subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any future uploads. Up next, I am going to link to our video where we cleaned probably the filthiest stove I've ever seen. It was 12 years of pork chop grease built up and it was a disaster, but the transformation was amazing. You don't wanna miss that. And so I'm gonna put a link to that right here. Click on that and I will see you over there.